Hi, welcome to Glenfall House. You're joining me, Charlotte. I'm the communications coordinator for Glenfall, so it's my job to let everybody out there know what's going on if you don't get to stay in touch with us that often. Um, we're in the morning room of Glenfall House because today we're going to bring you our first video question of the day. So we usually post these online and we find questions that the wedding event coordinators have received or myself and Diane and we'll post the answers online so that everyone gets to know what's going on. Uh, today we thought we'd try it in video. It's the first time we've tried it, so please bear with me if I end up mumbling my way through any words. So our first question of the day today then is, we've booked our wedding day with you, now what? Really good question. There's various different things that you need to do, but a priority once you've now booked your actual wedding date with Glenfall or any wedding venue, in fact, is to get your registrar booked. Now, here in Gloucester, our registrar is quite flexible, so we can book the venue and then usually they can fit the actual civil ceremony booking in on that day as well. But if you're various other parts of the UK, you may find that actually you need to put your venue on hold, go and check with your registrar that they are available for a civil ceremony on that day and then go back and reserve. Here at Glenfall, it's really simple. Um, you book the date with us. Once your ceremony is booked in with us, you then go and make all the arrangements with Gloucestershire Registry Office. You pay them separate to us, so it's all completely done separate. So we don't actually have that much to do with the registry office unless, of course, you need any help. And then we can offer you advice from there. Once you've booked your ceremony in, I would say, well done. All the fun parts are done, but now you need to get some of your big suppliers booked in. So, um, dependent on how long in advance you're getting married, you'll find that some of the really key suppliers, such as your photographer, your caterer, especially your caterer, and potentially some entertainment as well. I know when I got married, we really struggled with our evening entertainment. We had to actually go through four bands before we found the ones we wanted because they were all booked up. So get your big suppliers booked in. That's the predominant thing once that's done. And then once you've done all of those sort of initial big planning details, I would say send save the dates out. You can read online, oh, don't send the save the date till a year before, don't send it till eight months before. But personally, if you want them guests to be able to attend your wedding, send the save the date. There's no reason at all why you can't get that out there as soon as possible or at least let people know. So that is what to do once you put your ceremony with Glenfall particularly, but then some advice as well there with other venues. So another question that we get, and we actually get this one quite often, um, but we had it this week, is how often can I come and have a look at Glenfall? So you may have booked your wedding with us, you may have booked a party with us, you may have booked a corporate event with us, and you want to know how often you can come. Well, the good thing is we really like chatting about events, <laughs> so you can come as often as you want. It breaks our day up if we've got meetings and we're not stuck at the desk all day. And more to the fact is you get to come and you get to enjoy the venue at, at every different time of the day if you'd like to. So what I always advise, especially if you've booked a wedding 18 months out, is come and enjoy Glenfall as much as you can in every different season. The gardens of Glenfall is so beautiful. They look so different in spring, summer, autumn, winter. So I would just say come as often as you want. The only stipulation we have is let us know when you're planning on popping in. Um, if we've got another event on, we're an exclusive use venue, so we wouldn't be able to physically invite you and show you around because we would feel restricted and obviously it would impair on the event that we've got on. So come as often as you want, please do, but let us know that you come in and we make sure someone's in. If you want to do something a little bit more formal here at Glenfall, we've got various different events throughout the year. Um, so next year coming up, we've got quite a lot of outdoor performances. We're going to do afternoon tea around Mother's Day. We usually do a festive afternoon tea as well. Um, we've also got family days. We do quite a lot of family days, actually. So they're a really nice, more relaxed way to come and have a look at Glenfall. But you can come as often as you want and you can either make an appointment or you can just give us a call and let us know that you're going to pop in. So, yeah, as often as you would like. There's no restrictions at all there. Another question then that we've had this week is, do we recommend any local suppliers? Now, obviously, as a wedding venue, we've worked with quite a lot of different suppliers, not just for weddings, parties as well, if you want your party decorated, or if you're having a private dining event at Glenfall, we can put you in touch with stylists who can decorate that table for you. So yeah, we work with a really, really strong team of suppliers. We split our suppliers out into two categories. We have our professional partners 
And you'll tend to find that those are the teams that have been with us from the very beginning. So Glenfall's not extremely old. We're only three years old now. So our professional partners, they were here at the start. They really, really know what Glenfall's about. They love what we do. We love what they do. And so they're the first first suppliers that will say, yeah, we recommend going, going with them. But then we also have our recommended suppliers. that are suppliers we've worked with along the way. Um, we'll only ever recommend a supplier if we've worked with them. And we'll only, ask, only recommend a supplier if the bride and groom actually are really pleased with the service that they provided. Because quite often what I feel as the wedding and event manager or one of the other girls feel might not be what actually you as the bride and groom feel or the couple feel that you had that service. So yeah, what I would say is really tap into our professional partners and recommended supplier list. You may also find that even if they're not advertised, if you have got someone in particular that you want to work with or you know you want a magician, for example, then we can go back through and have a look at magicians we've worked with in the past that we would recommend. So I would always say come to us first and ask if you have a particular supplier in mind that you can't necessarily see. We also, of course, invite our suppliers here through various times throughout the year. So we've got lots of different wedding fairs planned. We've actually got one next week, 18th and 19th of Jan. That's our biggest wedding fair. So I really recommend if you can pop along, you come to that. And it's free. And there's free fears. So, yeah, everyone likes free fears. But we're also doing supplier demonstrations. So this is the first wedding fair where we've invited um, the suppliers to actually come and give a 10-minute talk in the Glen. So it's really good. All the information can be found online if you want to know what time the suppliers are and what demonstrations they're doing or who the suppliers are and what time their demonstrations are. And you would mess it up a little bit. And then in addition to that, we do Talk Tuesdays. So the last Tuesday of every month. This is a lot less informal. No need to book. No tickets required. Um, still free fizz, of course. Uh, but we invite one or two suppliers to come and they just sit and they're basically at Glenfall and they're here for any questions you've got. So whether you've booked Glenfall or whether you haven't booked Glenfall but you want to chat to that supplier, it's a really good opportunity to, to come and just meet with everyone and, of course, have a chat with us. <laughs> so the last question for today, I don't feel like this is dragging on too long. Where are we? I'm on seven minutes so far, so we're doing well. It might all be under ten minutes, which is nice. Ten minutes is a nice time. So can we hire Glenfall for a baby shower? That was a question that actually Diane got yesterday. And the answer is simply, yeah. So a lot of people don't realise, though, that Glenfall isn't just a wedding venue. Now, yeah, we do a lot of weddings and we love weddings. Um, but we actually lend ourselves really lovely to various of the celebrations. So this baby shower, for example, they wanted a barbecue in the summer outside. Lovely. What a beautiful way to celebrate um, a baby being born it's a nice barbecue all your friends there's accommodation here if you want it but some of the other events as well that we also do baby related is naming days so we work really closely with julia hawks she's an independent celebrant so if you wanted to actually have a naming ceremony if you weren't opting for a religious ceremony we can arrange that for you we also do corporate events so we're quite um quite nice corporate wedding at uh, corporate wedding venue quite a nice corporate venue actually um because obviously we've got the accommodation on site and with the different rooms we've got all the breakout rooms so little things like that that people don't realize milestone birthday parties we can do private dining i touched on earlier we actually had an inquiry as well this week um for somebody else, i've got this wrote down so i don't get it wrong they inquired saying that they wanted to hold their 100th birthday party with us we were like oh brilliant 100th that's you know pretty amazing well done and then they said yeah so it's my 50th birthday it's my wife's 40th birthday and it's our son's 10th birthday which was really cute and we thought that was really lovely so now we're already ticking over on how we can make this 100th over three birthdays be extra special for them so yeah various different events so if you want to hold your baby shower here please do and let us help as much as we can so those were the four questions today i've done really well i've kept it under 10 minutes so it wasn't too long for you um if this has done well if you've enjoyed it just give us a comment give us a like let us know if there's anything at all that you actually want to ask um as i say you don't have to be getting married or using glenfall house i want these videos to just be informative to help you so if you've got any questions that you'd like us to bring up next week when we do this again just let me know in the meantime really appreciate a little bit of feedback so either just like comment let me know what you saw let me know if i waffled too much just so i know for next time and um if you're not coming in to see us soon do pop in for a chat all right guys take care bye